Hey, before this video starts, I just want to mention, if you want to commission me for a video posted here on YouTube, come over to when I stream either here on YouTube or on Twitch at Retro Mario Twitch. But, let me not take up your time, enjoy the video. sit here? No? Okay. The name is Lou. And what would your name be? That's a good name. I like it. Um... Yeah, you could say that I'm homeless as well. Well, my story's a long one. Do you have time to listen? Yeah. I guess we we're both in that type of situation, huh? Well... My story starts out like this. My brother, Jeff, and I, we were happy from what it seemed. Everything was going good. Until it wasn't. My dad started to drink heavily, and my mother became somewhat of a puppet of his maniacal tendencies. My father always took it out on my brother, never me. I don't see why, I mean, everyone else in the family was getting the worst end of it from my father. He always told my brother to look happier, stop being sad, when in reality he didn't really have any th idea what was going on inside both of our heads, or even my mother's head. At that. I keep saying was or is because, well, one night my brother, um, he didn't really have a good day that day. And so they were heavily bullying him during school. And afterwards, when he got home, he ran straight to his room. Nothing more, nothing less. He didn't even come down for dinner that night. But later in the night, I heard him get up from his room and then walk to the kitchen and then back upstairs. I didn't see him do it, but Next thing I know, he cut a smile into his face with one of the kitchen knives. Shortly after, my mom was getting thirsty and she went downstairs. Jeff was downstairs and I overheard their conversation a little bit, not the full thing. I heard my brother Jeff say, look mom. I'm finally happy. Aren't you proud of me, Mom? Next thing I knew, I heard screaming. And I heard running throughout the house. And then a s slim of a door. And my mom locked herself in the room with our dad. And then... He snapped. He burst into my mother's and my father's room and killed both of them. Afterwards, once the screaming was um, 
dying down, I, um, I saw him. He didn't look like him old, his old self anymore. He was different. A monster. He tried to kill me too. But luckily I'm more durable than he thinks. Yeah, my brother tried to kill me. But when I came to and cleaned myself up, I took an oath that day. My oath is to kill the ones who kill people without remorse, without a need to. I'm the murderer to the murderers. I kill the not good people. Uh, yes, it, yeah, it does make me a murderer. I know this. I've been knowing this, but I'm not one to back down from someone. I'm not one to back down from a fight, a stronger person, anything of that. I overcome my fears myself. I overcome any obstacle myself. But I do it out of the goodness of my heart and the knowledge of knowing what's right and wrong. Um, yeah, you could say I'm sort of a vigilante of some sort. I'm nothing like my brother. Besides the killings, I'm nothing like my brother. My brother is out there Still alive, somehow, after bleaching his face and basically cutting his nose off. He's st still out there, killing people. But I forgive him. I forgive him for killing all those people, because I know he's not that I know that there's still a Jeffrey inside of that mind of his. I would do anything to get my brother back. But in the reality of everything, I know that's very far from actually happening. I've seen glimpses of his humanity still left inside of him in certain situations that me and him had. I know he's still good under all that bad and exterior. I know he is. There's just something that I need to do. I don't know what it is, but I'm still trying. I'm still trying to get my brother back. Yeah. It's a messed up situation. <laughs> I'm at peace. I can say that with a clear chest. I am at peace. With everything. The killing of my parents, my brother. I'm at peace with everything. I uh, have flaws myself, so does my brother, and so does everyone else in this world. If you would have been perfect in this world, well, that's what's wrong with you. You're perfect. No one in this world is perfect, even if they think they are. That's why I see myself as an equal to everyone. I might be different physically, and I might be different when it comes to features, 
like these scars I have all over my body. I might be different, but I hold no grudges against my enemies. I don't even have enemies. Because if I did, they would have died a long time ago. Thank you for um, your time here. I just, um, sometimes I get into my own head and I just need someone to vent to. And, well, you are that person. Even though I don't really know you that well, I thank you for your hospitality. But I have to get going now. You see, I've scuffled up enough money to buy myself a cell phone and... I put a list in there, and I'm working for a few people. It's not great money, but it gets me food for me to survive. So please, excuse me, but I have to go. Thank you for your time.